I'm legendary with this ballin' like I'm Tim Duncan Couple shooters in the cutting, yeah, I'm Tim Duncan We just tryna go to gym, my nigga still duckin' 6.30 in the morning, just woke up. I have to drive to Houston for a shoot with Christian Guzman and the Alphalete team. I'm telling you guys, the grind doesn't fucking stop. <laughs> Just like that, we're ready to go. So I'm currently running off of like four hours of sleep, which eh, isn't too bad considering I only get like six usually, but three hour, eh, I've made it to Houston in an hour and a half, but I won't go into detail on how I did that. Uh, let's just say that Texas is really, it's not hard to break the triple digit barrier here in Texas, especially on the highway at night. But besides the point, Houston's probably about two and a half hours away, and I have to go to Sugarland, which is a suburb down in the south, like the south end of Houston. So that's like three hours away. So three hours, three hours. Don't know what we're doing in the in the meantime. Like if we're going downtown, could end up being more like eight hours round trip. So it, it's going to be a long day, but I'm excited for it. This is like a huge opportunity for me. So I'm excited. This is the first road trip in the BRZ. So this should be interesting to see how it holds up, especially on these coilovers, because they're they're pretty stiff coilovers, but should be good. The gas miles on this car is great, so I'm ready. I probably should have factored in traffic. I'm never, ever, ever up this early, so I didn't really think about all this. Real quick and hit Taco Cabana before I get on the road for good because between here and Houston there's like nothing. Like literally just small little towns and open plains. So gotta get what I can while I'm in San Antonio still. Be in Houston in like two and a half hours, it's 7.40. I'm pushing it on time here. I gotta be, I'm supposed to be there by 10. I've made it from Katy, which is the farthest west suburb, to the farthest west, farthest east suburb of San Antonio in an hour and a half, but that was in the middle of the night. So if I can push it and there isn't too much traffic, I can probably get there by 10 still. I definitely did not learn my lesson about eating tacos and driving because it just, it does not go hand in hand, but I'm gonna attempt to make this work. So far, so good. No traffic. Hopefully we don't run into any in Houston, which is just, very much a pipe dream because that traffic is fucked. Maybe on the way back I'll swing my buckies. Just done it now, I, me, I'm just done. So I'm like three quarters of the way to Houston and I got a little bit bored of driving, so I wanted to film this clip. If any of you guys are into if any of you guys are into entrepreneurship, this is a little tip that I have when I'm on drives like this. Podcasts. Listen to podcasts. You know, I could have spent this whole time listening to Drake, but hey there. But if you spend an hour or an hour and a half listening to a podcast, and I recommend like Gary V or I think, uh, fuck, what's his name? Uh, Tony Robbins, I think he does a podcast too. I mainly listen to Gary V because he's in my industry, but like spending that hour listening to Gary Vee getting knowledge, I mean like that's like so much more efficient than listening to Drake or whatever you listen to driving. You know, it's really like time management. So I mean, it's just a big thing. I don't even know like if any of you guys care or in like, you know, entrepreneurship or whatever, but that's just something that's helped me is that I've been doing that lately when I've been driving, you know, to shoots or to Austin or right, you know, like right now to Houston, it's just so much more efficient to, you know, do something like that instead of listening to music. I'm hoping that Christian is cool with me vlogging. I don't, I, honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Like, I really don't. Like, I think we're doing a photo shoot, but I don't know. This, this should be interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, honestly. I've looked up to this dude for a long time, so this is, this is gonna be a little, a little bit of a trip, but about 20 minutes out, my radar detector is going crazy. But this should be interesting. Just filled up in Cinco Ranch, and I gotta hit the highway again because I am really pushing it on time, but I needed to get a little bit of gas. This thing has been getting 29 miles of the gallon, and I was going like 90 the entire way, so shout out to the BRZ, the real MVP here, the road trip warrior. So, off to Sugar Land we go. We have just touched down at Alphalete. 
Christian actually just called me and was like, yo, do you want anything from Starbucks? And I'm like, shit, yeah, sure, man. So, we're here. Man, crazy, crazy times. This, this should be fun. So we just left the first spot, now we're at Starbucks. I don't know what we're gonna be doing after this, but I don't wanna get, I don't wanna like seem like I'm intruding on the photo shoot, cause right now I'm like working. So we will see what happens. We're gonna go, we're in River Oaks right now and we're gonna go try and find some more spots. All this like healthiness going on here. What? <laughs> How many shots are in that? Two. Two shots? Yeah, so what does that do? Dude, yeah, I don't drink coffee, straight man. caffeine. Pretty much. So Worse than a monster? That just tasted like. Uh, I can't even handle monster. Really? Yeah. It just like, like makes me like jitter. Uh, I'm so used to it. Man. Really? Yeah. I'm so used to it. This is like nothing. Because he has like two or three days. Yeah. What's it taste like? Just like straight coffee? This is just like straight coffee. Back here at the River Oaks parking garage for the 5,000th time. We are out here. We done? We done, man. We're done. That's a wrap. That is a wrap. That's a wrap. It is 1.42 in Houston and I have a solid amount of time to kill out here because I mean I just drove three hours so I might as well maximize my time here. Take advantage. I don't know though. I need to eat. I'm starving but I'm in the middle of the city and I'm in River Oaks which is like where fucking George W. Bush lives so I can't afford this food here. But um, I'm going to try and find some food. Maybe just maybe there's a homie on Instagram that's down to link up, shoot photos, something. If not, I'll probably just go fly my drone and then call it a day after that, head home. Because I did wake up at six, got like three, four hours of sleep. So I don't want to like stretch my day out too much to where I'm like, you know, driving home, like swerving and shit. So we're going to see how this goes. But Houston's a real cool city, so I don't want to just like pack up and dip now. So I found out they have a halal guys in Houston, which if you've been to New York, it's like those food carts, those vendors you see on Times Square. They actually have a restaurant here. So I think this is where I'm gonna go. I was trying to find something, you know, not Chipotle, like something different. So I think this fits the bill. All right, let me show y'all something that's crazy about the state of Texas. Siri, what's the temperature? Sorry, I didn't get that. Siri, what is the temperature? It's about 84 degrees outside. Bro, it's Hot. February 7th, and it's 84 degrees outside. Okay, so I just wrapped up at Halal Guys, and now I guess I'm gonna go fly my drone. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go downtown just because I've already got downtown drone footage, and <laughs> I'm hesitant because I feel like there's still Super Bowl stuff going on. Well, I mean, not like Super Bowl stuff because that's obviously over with, but like cleaning up. I just don't want to get into a clusterfuck of traffic, so I'm going to go over towards the Galleria and fly it from there. And I don't know what I'm going to do after that. Maybe head home. I'm starting to get like, I'm starting to feel the effects of sleeplessness, so it's probably a good idea for me to hit the road here pretty soon. That drive here wasn't really bad though. I mean, I was going 90 the whole way. I think as long as I avoid traffic going home, like getting out of Houston, I think I'll be fine. I had a really good time today shooting with Christian and Heidi and everyone from Alpha Elite. They were all super cool. It was, it was just fun. I had a lot of fun with them. You know, it's, it's very rare for me to find clients that I really enjoy working with and it was just really cool with them. They're real down to earth people. So, great people. Go check them out. Got the drone out. I wanna get some footage of that and that Hotel right there, Drake references in a song. I'm gonna cut in right now. I posted at the Derek up a West Hammer. Hit me when you're done your shit. Yeah. I need some company. Bruh. I'm sweating in February. Let me put this AC on real quick. 
All right, so I just wrapped up the drone shots in Uptown, and now I don't know what I'm gonna do. <sighs> Traffic's probably gonna get bad in about 45 minutes, so going downtown is a terrible idea. So we'll cross that off the list. I think what I'm gonna do is go out to Katy, go to Starbucks. It's the third time I've been to Starbucks today. That's, oh man. Go to Katy, go to Starbucks or somewhere with Wi-Fi, edit, and then head home and try to get to San Antonio before, I'll uh, probably get back around seven. So, I think that's the plan, is just to head back out of Houston right now. If I was with somebody, this would be a different story, but I just don't want to get caught up in traffic. Like, I think it's just best I just go out of the city and go start editing these photos for Christian and uh, edit the drone footage. Drone footage, the drone footage looks pretty tight, so. I'm excited, I mean, I don't know. Overall, pretty good day. It's been a long day for me, considering I still have to go back home, and when I get back home, I'll still probably be up till, you know, well, I can't be up till 6 a.m., but, you know, I don't know, It's it's been a long, successful day, so I'm pretty excited on that. Yikes. Definitely taking this thing to get a wash when I get back. I have so many bugs on here, and honestly, it's just gonna get worse, because I'm gonna get right into the dark I-10 darkness. I've had a super good time here in Houston. I'm here in Katy, filling up, or about to fill up, and head home, try and try and beat traffic here in Houston and miss traffic in San Antonio. But I had a really good time today. Um, it's funny, man, like life works in really funny ways. Let me set this up here. You know, Christian, Christian's like someone that I've watched and like looked up to for a long, long time, and now I've like worked with him. It's, it's a crazy feeling, honestly. So, work hard and results come. Right, I'm gonna need my radar to shut up before I do this. Let's see. It's crooked, but it'll hold. Oh, okay, that's a little bit bumpy. But I guess what I was saying earlier when I was at the gas station is that if you really put your mind to things and work and put yourself out there and build, and honestly, this stuff takes time. Everybody asks me, you know, how, how do you meet all these famous people? Or, where? <laughs> you know, people ask me, how do you meet these famous people? How do you do this? How do you do that? And I'm like, I don't, I've been shooting photos for seven years. You know, I've been, every night, every day, I'm up building, constantly scheming, plotting, executing on ways to build my brand and make stuff like this happen for myself. And the thing is, is that it takes a lot of time and, you know, you're gonna spend, oh my God. You're gonna spend a lot of, Fuck. You're gonna spend a lot of time, you know, in the gutter, really just out, you know, trying to get your foot in the door. And honestly, I'm still going through it. Like, I haven't made it. I'm not famous, like, none of that. I'm still working at it, but I'm slowly starting to see what's working for me. And if I can help other people get to that point easier than I had to, you know, learn things for myself because I didn't grow up in New York or LA or wherever, you know, there's a scene. You know, I grew up in San Antonio, like, you know, pretty average big city in Texas. Like, there's stuff there, but it's not like, you know, I didn't grow up in Hollywood. I didn't grow up around all this stuff. So I kind of had to learn things from the inside out. But if I can save people, you know, the headache of having to learn certain things, like, you just got to put in the work. And that's really what it comes down to. So I'm driving home from Houston right now. That's probably, I guess, an end to today's vlog. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun hanging out with Christian and all the people from Alphalete good times the photos look crazy so i'm excited to put those out if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up like comment subscribe all that good stuff it helps me out a bunch i really appreciate it and yeah i'll catch y'all next time thanks for watching peace